Hello, if your Xbox controller keeps disconnecting all the time, then here's what you can do in order to try to fix this issue. First of all, we can perform the factory reset of the controller. So in order to do that, we can press and hold the pairing button, which you have at the top. We need to press and hold it for like 10 seconds. And after those 10 seconds, we should feel the vibration on the controller and the controller should, should turn off after that. So let's keep holding this button. There we go. We have the vibration and now the controller is off. So now let's turn on the controller again. And now we need to pair it with, uh, with your device again. So if you use the Xbox console, then you want to once again go to the pairing mode. So press and hold the pairing button until the Xbox logo starts flashing. And you can do the same thing on the Xbox console next to the USB port, at least in the case of Xbox Series X. Next to the USB port, there is the pairing button, which you need to press and hold in order to open to, to put the console into the pairing mode. And after that, these uh, devices should be paired together. And if you have Xbox One, let's say, then the pairing button is located, for instance, under the power, uh, power button or on the left side of the console. And on Windows, for instance, you want to go to the uh, Bluetooth settings and pair the controller again. The next thing that you can do is update the software in your controller. And in order to do that, first, we will need to connect to uh, our Xbox console or PC because we can do that on PC as well and you might need to use the USB cable in order to perform the update. So I'm going to show you the example on the PC because as I said you can also do this on PC. So let's plug it in. On Xbox you want to go to the settings of the console and you should be able to find the uh, update controller option somewhere. On a PC, on the other hand, we have Xbox Accessories app, which can be downloaded, for instance, from the Microsoft Store. And this is where we can update the controller. Of course, like I said, you need to use the USB cable in order to do so. So in order to perform the software update, we need to click on the more options. And then over here we have update. If there is an update, then of course we can uh, click on it in order to uh, update the firmware of the controller. And after that, um, this theoretically can help you face this issue. And of course, in order to avoid disconnections, you can also use the USB cable in order to play. I know that this might be inconvenient, but you want to give it a try and check if at least works. If your controller keeps disconnecting, even with the USB cable, then there is a chance that um, the batteries are getting worse and they might not fully work as they should. So you might want to replace batteries or simply recharge your controller um, if you have rechargeable uh, batteries or just replace the rechargeable batteries. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.